Hey, what's up you guys? So today I have kind of a story time slash announcement. Before I get into that, today's video is sponsored by BarkBox and they helped me do something really, really cool that I'm so excited about that I'm gonna talk about later in the video. But basically because of them, I was able to really help somebody out, like a lot. But I'll talk about that later. So the story starts in San Francisco. <laughs> So me and Ryland decided to go to San Francisco just for like a weekend trip. Morning, sister. <laughs> and while we were there, we were walking down the street and we saw this dog adoption. And I wasn't gonna stop, and then I did, and then this happened. Hi, come back. I know, I fell in love with this dog. I mean, I was taking pictures with the dog. Rylan was taking pictures with the dog. We were Snapchatting and Instagram storying. I think we hung out at that adoption for like three hours, but it was one of those things where I just instantly knew like, this was part of my family. Then I texted Garrett and of course his response was, get him, get him, get him, get him, I love him, get him, get him. Then I texted my mom and she sent me this video. Yes, it's gonna be a lot of work, but you know me, I have a house full of pets and I love them all. I don't know what I would do without them. They're like my kids. I love them more than anything. Love you. And then me and Rylan said, fuck it. And we just decided to adopt her. But the problem was, we're in San Francisco and we live in LA. But the woman who ran the adoption offered to drive the dog to us for free. I told her I wanted to pay her for it and she said no, that this is just what she loves to do and she was happy that the dog was gonna get a nice home. So then we decided to celebrate by going to a Mexican restaurant, eating a lot of chips and getting very drunk and going into a group DM chat on Twitter. We love you Shane's pigs. So we went back to LA and all week we were getting updates from the woman who we adopted the dog from, Jill. And every update, I was like, get me this dog. <laughs> I mean, there was videos of her at the groomer, pictures of her eating, pictures of her playing with her favorite toy, which is a little bee, and just a million pictures of her looking like the sweetest thing in the whole world. And then I woke up with a text from Jill and she said, we're on our way. And she sent me this picture. Ah, ah, I think I actually screamed when I read that. So just a quick little background on Jill. So she runs a rescue organization called Bella Vita Rescue. So her and her teenage daughter travel across the country and get dogs who have been abandoned or who are gonna get killed in the shelter who just need somebody to save them. They literally travel around the country and do that. And they called me when they were on the road and they were like, hey, we're gonna be a couple hours late. We found a litter of stray puppies that were abandoned on the side of the road, like angels. And when I came home later that night, she was there. Okay, you guys, so Shane's just about to be home. We've got the dogs waiting. Lady, are you ready to see Shane? Oh. Uh-oh, Shane, guess what's going on? Oh my God, oh my God, is she here? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't look at the window. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Come inside. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she remembers you. Oh my gosh. So they're getting along? Yeah, they're getting along great. Are they gonna have sex? No. I think the best part about that was I was extremely excited, Ryland was excited, but Jill and her daughter Bella were like even more excited than we were because they genuinely love finding dogs homes. Like they drove eight hours <laughs> to get this dog to us. And then she told us how she found our dog, which was just heartbreaking. She was in a very rural area where nobody lived. So somebody had to have driven out of their way to dump her so that she couldn't find a home to come back to. So she was found by herself. And from day one, she was just very scared, starving, but didn't really want to eat. Well, you know, we'll bring that out at her. <laughs> so then the daughter pulled out some shirts that she made for us. Oh my God. Because you said you haven't changed your clothes in weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> True. And then we hung out and talked and took a bunch of pictures and then they were on their way. One thing they did tell me off camera was that they do accept donations, but they feel a little weird about it. And they never want to look like they're like, asking for money and that's not why they do what they do. So I forced them, I said, start a GoFundMe page. Like start one because you guys need help. So they did, I'll put the link down there. And one thing they said they really wanted was a van. Now they're doing all of this in their little car. I asked them how much it was. They said it was like $30,000. So I got a sponsor for this video, BarkBox. And with the help of BarkBox, I was able to write her a check for $30,000 to get her her van. 
Now, I didn't film that whole thing because like that's not what this was about, but she was really, really excited and uh, didn't want to take it, but I forced her to. And you guys can help too. Once again, the link will be down there for the GoFundMe. They really, really need some help and um, every dollar counts. So later that night, it was time to hang out with our new dog, who we still didn't really have a name for. I think they temporarily named her Lady, but I wasn't completely loving that name. So we still had to figure that out. So pretty instantly, her and Uno became like best friends. I mean, they were playing together, they were running together, they were both looking at my food together, and they wouldn't stop. They slept on both of our laps. I've genuinely never seen, like, two dogs get that close that fast. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. She, like, smiled. I'm H-A-P-P-Y. Well, then it was time to introduce our new dog to Cheeto. Now Jill told us that we had to take it slow and that huskies sometimes don't get along with cats. But throughout the week, we had been watching a bunch of different videos and researching a lot about huskies and cats. And there is a big chance that they will get along and that they'll be best friends. But then there's a chance that they might not. Okay, so what you need to do, I need to have Lady back here and you need to open the door and Cheeto can choose if he wants to meet her. Oh my God, I love a dating show. <laughs> oh my God, the catchler. <gasps> No? Okay. <laughs> okay, meet your new husband. Cheeto. Uh, if Cheeto wants to come to you, he can. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Cheeto's literally not afraid. I am actually having a panic attack. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Lady. Cause from what I remember- Ooh, I don't know, that looks like- that looks like she's thinking about dinner. Uh oh. Cheeto finally found somebody that he's scared of. Stay. Stay. Oh my god, it's licking its lips like it's dinner. Really? Hey, stop it. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey, be patient. <laughs> Me when dinner's coming. <laughs> That's Cheeto. He's our friend. We love him. I mean, he doesn't love us that much, but. I'm scared. Hey. I don't know. I just really need them to like each other. Hey. Hey. Cheeto's not afraid. Cheeto's like, what's up? Oh my god, Shane, you're missing it. Come over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, please. Oh my god. Be friends. Please be friends. Yeah. Oh my god. This like, is everything. I'm gonna cry. Oh my that god. That meow seems like Cheeto making a peace offering. I know. I've never heard that soft of a meow from Cheeto before. It sounded like... Hey, can we be friends? Cheeto's like, look at my ass while I walk away. <gasps> Cheeto is intrigued. I feel like we're watching Animal Planet live. <laughs> oh my god, it's all happening. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> now she's scared. Cheeto's the boss, that's the boss. We all just live in Cheeto's house. Cheeto. Oh, that didn't go well. So it didn't go bad. It didn't go great. Like they weren't instantly best friends. And by this point, we had already fallen so in love with this fucking dog that the idea of having to get rid of her was just awful. So we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. But if she doesn't get along with Cheeto, I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, Look at this face, it has to work. <laughs> I guess we'll just try again tomorrow. So then it was time for bed, and Jill told me that the dog did not like stairs. Go up the stairs. Come on. See, he's afraid of activity, just like his dad. <gasps> and that was very true, and I ended up having to carry the dog up the stairs myself. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh. I got him. Yeah, her. Her. Sorry for misgendering. It's hard. Come on. <laughs> This is like me carrying you when you're drunk. <laughs> but then we all got into bed, and it was so cute. <laughs> oh my god. And of course I got fucking creepy. Look, it's a pillow made out of you. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, Shame. it's faux, it's faux, it's Target. Then I had a moment of thinking she could understand my mouth pops. Wait, I just realized something. She only responds to mouth pops. Ready? <laughs> She 
she is ours. Then we all fell asleep in the bed and it was just the best. So then the next morning we decided we had to figure out a name. Root beer. No shame. <laughs> Danielle Brigoli. Hi bitch. I like quid. No, we're, <laughs> unless Quid's giving us thousands of dollars. <laughs> well, wait, let's see what she comes to. I like Shook. No. Shooky. I'm not walking the dog and saying Shooky in public. <laughs> Queen, bougie, frosting, food. She literally thinks we're so dumb right now. <laughs> Taco Bell, oh my god, wait, Taco Bell. Mm -mm. Chicken. She's a vegetarian. Starbucks. Star. <gasps> no. Krisha. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey Trish, we named our dog Trish. <laughs> Gucci! <laughs> Tana! <laughs> he f***s me with a toothbrush! She hates us. Oh my god, wait, mouth pop. Mouth pop! And then for short... <laughs> uh, this dog's never gonna have a name. I need a diarrhea. <laughs> I even got a video message from Garrett giving me some of his name ideas. Jane, you want dog names? I'll tell you what, you came to the right guy. Now listen, I came up with 12. Also, don't look at my car, it's disgusting. Link, Molly Brown, Bet, Pine, because Chris Pine's dreamy, sorry. Coop, Sega, Uma, like the actress, Uma Thurman. Earl, uh, even though it's a girl, sorry. Ren, Trinity, and Croft, as in Laura Croft. But here, I'm gonna focus on the one that I really like. Um, I think that the name of your dog is going to be L. L Driver was the inspiration from Kill Bill, the woman with the uh, patch over her eye. I killed your master. Your dog is eventually going to have a patch over her eye as well. Because remember when Cheeto scratched the shit out of Ryland's face? That's going to happen uh, to not only your new dog, uh, but every member of uh, your household. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go find a breakfast burrito. It is 2.35 p.m. after all. Bye! Then the craziest thing in the whole world happened. We were literally filming a video for Ryland's channel, and then he said, oh, this is a brand deal, I have to get something, and then this happened. Honey so graciously decided to sponsor this video, which I'm so excited Wait, about. Wait, honey. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god. Honey. Oh my god. Honey. Wait, wait, honey. Oh Oh my god, she looks like honey. Honey, oh wait, I like honey. Oh my god, ew, I just had a psychic moment. What? What toy is she obsessed with? Her favorite toy, which is a little bee. Oh my god, her bee. Bees love honey! Honey loves bees! I know, we literally figured out the name and it felt so weird and like, right? And she is just so sweet. <laughs> oh fuck. Well then it was time for us to try again see if Honey and Cheeto could be friends. All right, Honey, let's try this again. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, my God. oh my God, oh my God. You're okay. Come say hi, Cheeto. Come say hi. Be nice. Be oh nice. my God. Be nice. Both of you be nice. Cheeto. Wait, that went good. Yeah, that was great. Oh, <laughs> see, Honey? That's what it's like to have Cheeto hate you. <laughs> Cheeto. Okay, be nice. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh. She's letting Cheeto eat her food. Yeah. Even I won't do that. You guys can coexist. Be nice. Oh my gosh. Cheeto just ate off of her paw. Right this here, This is Cheeto. the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole Cheeto entire right life. So then I did what any other new daddy does. I wanted to spend some money. All right, guys, guess what we're gonna do? What? Spend some money! Woo! <laughs> I like that. So we ended up going to Target and we got so much shit. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Pig ears. It doesn't make sense because they're still right here. <gasps> we got dog toys, we got treats for the dog, but mostly for me. <gasps> oh my God, there's new kinds of M&Ms. <gasps> Shane, dogs can't have chocolate. I know, but pigs can. And then for some reason I don't quite understand a shit ton of Jojo Sohuski merch. I'll never know how to say that name. Uh, when Jojo cures me of my depression. <laughs> oh my god, they also have her hair bows. Oh my god, dream huge. When this becomes a Jojo brand deal. <laughs> it has hair coming out the back. Ooh. That's a dog toy. <laughs> Be your own star. When JoJo's my new therapist. So then it was time to come home so me and Honey could do our first brand deal together. All right, Honey, time for your first brand deal. Oh my God, you look insane. They can keep talking that talk. 
I'm gonna keep walking my walk. All right, come on. Okay, come back. Okay, JoJo's getting angry. Come on, I'm trying to treat big. Hey! Come on, we're gonna put on your JoJo Don't Quit shirt. Come on. Okay, don't run from JoJo, she's queen. Come on, we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> I am JoJo in 30 years. So BarkBox is awesome, and I've worked with them before in the past. So it's a monthly subscription service where you get this BarkBox every month, and every box has two really cool toys and two bags of all natural treats. All right, all right, it's a lot happening. And something to chew on. All this stuff is really high quality, and I'm not just saying that because they told me to say that. It really is. You get 40 bucks worth of treats and toys, and plans only start at like 20 bucks a month. All right, JoJo, pose with the box. I was born for this. You can also upgrade to get an extra toy every month, and that's only an extra nine bucks a month. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> it's free shipping anywhere in the US and Canada. They're a really awesome company, and I really love them a lot. Also, without BarkBox, I would not have been able to give Jill that $30,000, so BarkBox, thank you. So please, if you have a dog or you know somebody that has a dog and you want to gift it to them, go to BarkBox.com slash Dawson. So here we go. I am so excited to introduce to you guys, Honey Dawson. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, oh. oh my God. <laughs> All right, we have another kid. Oh, we did it. No, I say that lovingly. I know that having another dog's a lot more work, but it's definitely worth it. Well, I'm just really happy that our little family's growing and that her and Cheeto are now getting along and they're best friends. <laughs> well, I hope you guys love Honey as much as we do. We are so excited and uh, I don't know. I feel like our little family's gone bigger. Yeah, kids next. <laughs> Only if we can name them Ranch. <laughs> No. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited about Honey being a part of our little family. Me too, and all the hair that's everywhere. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.